Hola niños y niñas and welcome to another edition of the Bleed Los Podcast. This week's podcast is presented by Bet Online. Bet Online is the fastest and easiest way to wager on all of your favorite sports, contests, and events with the first to market odds and lines. Find reviews and news for every league, including Major League Baseball, NFL, NBA, NHL, combat sports, esports, and even golf. So if you head on over to Bet Online, they continue to be the top online resource for all of your sports info from live in game betting, props, and futures. Head on over to their website, which is betonline.ag. You can use your mobile device, whatever, computer, iPad like I Juan does because he's a geriatric. And you can join today and make your first sports bet. Use our promo code, which is Believe50, B-L-E-A-V-5-0. You will receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Bet online where the game starts. Huge thanks to them for presenting this week's episode of the podcast. I'm actually excited about this one. Uh, we talk about it a ton on this show. Uh, Taco Tuesday, Los Mariachis. We ask all the players that join us about Los Mariachis. And we have one of the guys that joins the team from time to time with us right now. Uh, the legend himself, Julian Torres. Julian, ¿cómo estamos? Hey. <laughs> Aquí, mira, muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And saludos a todo, todo tu público. Muchísimas gracias por tenerme aquí. Thank you so much for the uh, for the call. And I'm, I'm happy to be speaking with you on this yep. beautiful, um, cool Southern California <laughs> day. I, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Uh, for those of you that are unaware of what's happening in California, it is not cool in California right now. But we're going to make the best of it and chop it up with, uh, with Julian Torres. Julian, te quería preguntar de primero. How did you get involved with the Dodgers? Because that isn't just a, hey, I'm going to go, I'm going to yellow page these guys and just give them a call and be like, Sasuke, I want to be your mariachi or one of your mariachis. So how, how did enough, that that's exactly how it happened. Oh, hold on. No, it's no, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, the luck, luck. That's all I could say, luck. Um, it, I was... Uh, performing and beginning to um, take flight on my solo uh, performances. And I was invited by a friend that I met, um, I want to say a couple years back. Um, and I had met her uh, doing a performance for the Ford Amphitheater. And uh, este, platicamos, muy linda persona. Um, and that was it. She calls me up later on, two years later, and tells me, hey, I have this opportunity. Can you um, get a mariachi and do a, a mariachi performance, solo performance? I'm like, of course, let's, let's get it going. And this is going to be for uh, the Clippers. It's going to be a Clippers event at um, uh, Plaza Mexico. Uh, I forget the, the city that that's in. Um, and I said, okay, of course, let's, let's get it together. I performed there, met the people working there, and así pasó. First, the people that were working there, I think, enjoyed my performance, and they we exchanged numbers, and I said, we're going to work together in the future. Okay, perfect. This was before a little thing called the pandemic happened. So pandemic happens and it locks it up. So I'm, as, as all of my, my colleagues performing, no performances anywhere, live performances because of the pandemic, the lockdown. Entonces, um, that happens fast forward where it's beginning to open up. And, um, they start, we start uh, performing everywhere, little by little. Y me llaman as the same company. Hey, can you do a performance for uh, Viva Los Dodgers? I'm like, sure. What do you need me to do? Same. Get a mariachi. Come down and you sing. Okay, perfect. Empiezo a cantar. And they like it. They enjoyed what I did, my performance. And they called me for Viva. So then Viva happened and I performed there. And it was, it's a quick little 
little performances and then they interview a, a, a player and then I come back on. Well, that interaction, um, I started singing Chente songs. This would be, you know, Chente was still alive. And people really resonate with, with these songs. And um, then they enjoyed that performance, thought nothing of it. And the person in charge calls me again. Hey, can you do uh, La Gran Fiesta? So then I was like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm available to do it. But I was flying out to Napa on that performance. So I had to do a performance in Napa, and I told him, hey, I need to come in, sing, and then bounce. Like, can I do it at the beginning? And I think Lupita Infante was also there um, performing. So then do my performance, and the crowd, I'm, I'm you know, vibing out with the crowd and everyone. Y ya, se termina. I go out to Napa, don't think anything of it. Then they call me back to perform at the National League Championship Series. Like, can you do that? But it's going to be inside the, the stadium. So then I was like, yeah, let, let, let me call my friend, see, see who's available. And um, I call my buddies, um, Maria Chilos Toros, and they're like, yeah, let's do it. So then they call me. I call, they call me and they give me the thumbs up. I call them, hey, we're down to do it. We go inside and that night was an epic night it was uh um uh, so there was such a vibe it was electric I, w I was going in into the stadium with my <laughs> marching band experience because I'm, I'm a san pedro alumni um and i used to play in my marching band so i was like all right let's let's this is a rally so we're gonna get people pumped Orale, let's let's get them let's go dodgers y todo eso. so i go in there I'm high fiving people. Yeah, we're going to get it today. We're going to. Y que meten como dos, uh, two runs. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> so there's a 10 minute performance uh, that I that um, is done before the pregame performance inside the stadium. Y hecho, como, como le dicen, toda la carne al asador ahí, ¿eh? me he hecho unos 10 minutos a cantar. And people start vibing. Yes, todo, Julian. Or is Mariachi, que sabe que tanto. So I'm there and I'm just like, I have my pep rally hat on and I'm just like, yeah, let's go Dodgers. Let's, let's do this. Let's go Dodgers. Getting everyone pumped up. Hey, puro Mexico. Yeah, puro Mexico. Yeah, andamos. And they start um, hitting runs. So then, okay, what's the first song? Sale el Caliciense. Boom. Da -da -da -da. And people just like, the people out there just start turning around. I was like, what's going on? I guess people um, did, it was unexpected for these performances. So it's, you only have around 90 seconds to perform while the teams are um, switching, right? Dije, bueno, pues hay que aprovechar eso. So I le, le empiezo a cantar esas, estas canciones, just the, the highlight of the song, right? So the first, um, first inning, then the third inning, then the fifth inning. Y ya vamos llegando al final. I was only supposed to perform twice. The first inning and the third. And that's it. But the producers were like, no, the people are vibing off of this guy. Que siga. I'm like, can you do another one? I'm like, yeah. Then I turn around, can you guys? Yeah. Aquí estamos. So we sing another one. And I was thinking upbeat songs just to get the, the people, you know, into it and 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 vibing off of off of the performances. Y una de las trabajadoras que estaba ahí me dice, ¿sabes qué? I'm like, you, you look at her and tiene ojos verdes. Y dices, okay, how do you know this song? She asked for Volver, Volver. I'm like, if you would be able to sing Volver, Volver, that's one of my favorite songs. So in my mind, I'm like, yeah, yeah, con esa. Con esa canción. <laughs> so then I'm there. Y empieza, sale, volver, volver. Da, 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 da. Everyone is lit by that time. Everyone, like the whole stadium is just going nuts. Da, 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 da. In that millisecond, 
la canción comienza, este amor apasionado, así comienza, ¿eh? mm -hmm. but I only have 90 seconds, and I'm like, I'm going to run out of time, no, de una vez, y volver, volver, no hombre, the mariachi was not expecting that, because I didn't tell him, I wasn't expecting it, pero le entré ahí y toda la gente, no hombre, se, se volvió loca, se volvió loca ese día. Gracias a Dios por la oportunidad. Sung that part. If you can imagine, well, you have, there's footage of it. Right. But if, can you imagine being there and hearing the whole stadium sing Volver with you? It's, it's, it's a, it's an experience that always lives in my heart. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, Juan uh, was there porque tomó un montón de micheladas and well, the rest is history. <laughs> But uh, uh, there's a, there's another component to that, right? Like now, you know, you, you, you go and, you, and, and you're there more often now, right? Uh, and it's a vibe and everyone's enjoying it. But but the vibe, one of the more important vibes is is the players. And we, we've had the opportunity to ask the players and to talk to players about Los Mariachis being there. And uh, and they they love it, right? They're into it. Obviamente, Julio Urias le gusta, ¿verdad? Pero también es, pues, es paisa. But, I mean, yeah. but, uh, but, but the rest of the guys, even, even guys that, uh, like Max Muncy, we had him on earlier in the season. He's all, oh, yeah, it's great. It's incredible. Uh, so I'm curious, what, uh, you, the feedback, obviously, from, from la, la gente, pues es importante, ¿verdad? Pero cuando lo escuchas de, de los jugadores, how much more important is that for you? It is very important because... We are there to entertain. También el público, pero it's very important because it's it's. I say our team because I'm from California and from LA, and um, it's it's important to get them in that mood of yeah, I'm, I'm work. I mean, it's it's like anyone when you drive to work, when you drive anywhere. I mean, there's a. I'm sure there's a small percentage that doesn't want any music or anything to pump them up to go into work. I'm sure there are people, but for the majority, like myself, I love to put music before I go in and I, I you know, to get pumped up. Ahora sí, para empezar este, lo que uno ama. You know, if music, music is such an important art form and it's very important that everyone enjoys it. So el, el público, los jugadores, los que están trabajando ahí, este, los que están limpiando, los que están en la cocina, everyone that's there, it's very important that they enjoy what one does and one loves to do. So that's, that's the cherry on top, that I love doing this. I love performing. And I get people, hey, dude, man, you, you really, dude, this game isn't, isn't the same without you. And I'm like, wow, I mean, I'm enjoying seeing you guys laugh, seeing you guys happy, seeing you guys cheers to me, seeing you guys jump up y echarse su grito. And then to hear also some players um, that they enjoy it and also getting, fortunately, getting messages from not only the players, pero mucha gente from Dodger Stadium, importante, y mucha gente... Este, fuera, that, that's part of the um, part of the music entertainment saying, hey man thank you, thank you for for bringing it, bringing it and I'm, I'm just like, I'm just I'm vibing off of you guys <laughs> no, I'm it, enjoying it myself you but know? it's true though, I mean ba with baseball, you know, the thing that people forget is walk up music is a huge part of, of baseball like, you know, when I were to baseball, I remember guys, this how long ago it was They'd give me a CD and they'd tell me to take it to whoever the PD is, the, the program director. Mm -hmm. Then they, they'd program it and have it ready for, for their walk-ups. We, we saw it a couple weeks ago. The, uh, the, the wives or partners for the players picked, uh, for most of them, in some cases it was somebody else, but you know, most of them, they picked the, their walk-up songs, right? So it's yeah. a huge, huge part. But also in between innings, well, there has to be something, right? Tiene que tener el ambiente. Claro. If, I mean, if you go to any kickback, Right, and that's that's kind of where where mariachi kicks in. Speaking nah. of kickbacks, my 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 friend here Juanito, the uh, 
the ambassador of kickbacks, the Tiene Una Pregunta. <laughs> so yes. and, and for those of you who are wondering, Plaza México is in Linwood, para que no se ofendan los cholos. Because uh, the cholos of Linwood might be like, hey, man, Plaza Mexico is 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 Linwood. But you're, you're from Hawthorne. You were born in Hawthorne, right, Julian? As but, he is. So born like, in Hawthorne. Are you a South Bay guy? Because you said you went to San Pedro in the marching band there. Yes. Is that what happened? You moved around or what? Well, my parents, um, cuando llegaron aquí, se establecieron en Redondo Beach, Hermosa Beach. Oh, pues eran pobres entonces. Vivían <laughs> Redondo Beach. Batallaban. It says born in Hawthorne, and now you're going to tell me that you were living in Manhattan Beach and Redondo <laughs> Beach. Espérame, para allá voy. Struggling. Para allá voy. Ay, como sufren los pobres. Sí. <laughs> Batalla. Entonces, ya de allí, me imagino, se emigraron a Hawthorne, mm -hmm. right? And una, I mean, probably renting. Sí, somewhere. Right. Y es donde yo nací en Hawthorne. Entonces de allí started uh, migrating to um, behind Alpine Village. There used to be a community there. I think they demolished it for whatever reason. Y ahí vivimos um, in Torrance. Then from Torrance moved to Carson to a place called Scottsdale. I don't know if you guys know where Scottsdale is. Wait, wait Scottsdale, Arizona, or there's a Scottsdale? No, there's, in there's California? a Scottsdale. There's a Scottsdale community, gated community. Oh, a gated community, <laughs> Julian. The uh, the struggle, <laughs> the struggle <laughs> bus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But gated to keep the bad people in. <laughs> <laughs> so you lived in a prison, is what you're saying. You lived in a prison. Okay. Right. Nah, no se crean. <laughs> it doesn't move to Carson, and my mom was very active um, looking for magnet schools for me, like for per performing arts and things like that. Um, for mid, for um, elementary school, I went to South Shores Elementary in Pedro. Then for middle school, I went to 32nd Street, which is in front of USC, to that middle school. And then for middle school, since we, we still lived in Carson, este, there was a good uh, magnet program in Pedro. It was either Pedro or Narvan. Entonces de allí fui a Pedro y ahí nos quedamos, bueno, San Pedro. ¿verdad? San Pedro, <laughs> not Pedro. Yeah. Next thing you're going to say is Los Files. So. And the Los Files. <laughs> Pero de allí, este, my parents still live in, in, in Carson. Entonces, de ahí yo empecé a trabajar cantando um, como músico de, mari de mariachi mm -hmm. in a lot of places. Um, from high school, I performed in this place that no longer exists also called Camacho's Cantina in City Walk. Mm -hmm. So I performed there as a mariachi. Then from there moved to um, uh, another group in San Fernando. Uh, for El Siete Mares as a trumpet player. Then from there, moved to a group that was performing, fill, uh, filling in for um, Mariachi Los Camperos de Naticano at La Fonda. And that has been my musical career as a mariachi. As a so, kid. Uh -huh. So were you like Luis Miguel? Like, was your mom like taking you to places to pr perform and and sing mariachi as a kid, like where did, because mariachi is a very specific, you know, genre. It's not like you were a kid and singing Los Bukis or lo, uh, the Tigers of the North or anything like that. Like Los Mariachis, <laughs> a mariachi is specific. Take me like, you know, because we had your compadres, Mariachi Los Toros, they, they were on the show and they wow. were sitting here. They told us about how certain school, I, I think it was Garfield and Roosevelt, both had mariachi programs, right. which I was completely unaware of. Mm -hmm. So did the, the love for mariachi music, was that in high school or was it before then? How did, why choose mariachi? Okay, as I was born into my father singing all the time mariachi music. Mm -hmm. My father has an amazing voice, and he would always sing Antonio Aguilar, Miguel Aceves Mejia, Jose Alfredo Jimenez, 
Um, in más este Javier Solís, in the home, just playing records de mariachi. I mean, I would listen to everything else that was popular at the time. Luis Miguel, este Menudo, este, all the, the popular uh, groups that were of that time. But mainly in my household, it was mariachi music. And hearing my father sing all the time. Entonces, I grew up sort of imitating what he would do because I loved it. Ahora, as a young kid, I wanted to um, portar el traje de charro. We would go to Pico Rivera as a kid. Yeah, and I would go uh, suited up in a traje con mis escuelas y mi sombrero y todo. Like the whole thing, my, my, my father wanted me and my siblings to be born in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And my mom was like, no, 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 you know the struggle? Why do you want them to live over there y cruzarse para acá? Y, no, 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 no. Aquí ¿Qué parte van, de aquí México? ¿Mande? ¿Qué, par ¿Qué parte de México? Mi papá es de Villanueva, Zacatecas. Y mi mamá es de Ameca, Jalisco. Oh, ¿y querían que nacieras en Jalisco o en Zacatecas? No, mi papá en Zacatecas, obvio. <risa> Que sea zacatecano, dice yeah. no, es que si no, si no, no va a ser mexicano. Uh -huh. like, mi mamá, no, va a ser mexicano porque le vamos a enseñar nuestra cultura, le vamos a enseñar nuestras tradiciones, nuestra música aquí en la casa. No te preocupes, es que no, es que. So that was that. Uh -huh. As a kid growing up singing with my father, I was, um, uh, uh, I was recognized. Más bien, they recognized that I had something in performing. Porque me la pasaba en una sillita que tenía de niño, que daba vueltas, non-stop, escuchando música de Mariachi Pedrito, Fernández, Miguel Acer, Mejía, José Alfredo Jiménez, just listening and singing along to the songs. Me bajaba y dije, oye, mi mamá, ¿no te, va, ¿no te estás mareando? Le dije, no, okay. I'm singing along. Entonces, as a kid, I started performing alongside my father because my dad entraba a muchas este what what they call a singing competitions entonces en cantinas en restaurantes en donde quiera que 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 hubiera porque le can, le encanta cantar so he would go y ganaba y ganaba llegó hasta el punto donde they were offering him uh, full album to sign him. And my mom was like, okay, uh, te apoyo si quieres entrarle al entertainment business, te apoyo porque tengo tíos que son músicos y todo eso, pero no vas a tener una, una familia grande porque sé que sacrificar, que hay que sacrificar muchísimo en este ambiente. Y pues, we have, I have three other siblings, so I guess he chose family. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but he would, we would sing at churches, uh, carnival events. Um, at, yo, uh, como un niño, mi papá, obviamente, cantando rancheras y lo que sea. Veo un mariachi de niños y me enamoro. And story goes, I go up to my father and I tell him, Pa, yo sé lo que quiero hacer con mi vida. And my dad was like, what? Quiero ser un mariachi. And my dad was like, Okay. Vamos a ver cómo le hacemos. He was ecstatic about it. And he was like, okay, let's, let's go find out who could help us out. How can you learn an instrument? How can we do all these things? And we go to a school, una escuela que, donde tenían el programa de José Hernández uh, at the Music and Art School down Indiana. Oh, the one um, in East LA. Yeah, in East LA. Yeah. yeah so from Carson... About. After school, my mom would drive us to get lessons from, because I, I, went, I was learning how to play trumpet. And um, my father also started because he, para apoyarme que no me, no tuviera tanto, pues, miedo en hacerlo, which I was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm fine, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm good. I don't, I don't need, you know, you to be here. Pero empezamos la música de María Chijunto. That, I mean, look, I mean, we've had every player, with the exception of one, and we he'll remain nameless, 
But every player, every Dodger player we asked, they love the mariachi. In particular, Edwin Rios said, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm still gonna give him crap for not knowing your name, but he said the big guy. <laughs> like the big, the big guy is great. Look, I go to games. I, I go to a lot of games, Julian. Sí. I, I, you know, I, I've seen you perform, but then I've also seen times when the mariachi is just there. But let me ask you this real quick. I mean, can we show a little more love to los toros? I mean, every time I go, it's pinche Garibaldi. Garibaldi's always there. And look, Garibaldi's good. And they're, they're they're very good. I don't want to crap on them, but los, los toros are our boys. And <laughs> But it is funny to me what a difference it is when it's just the. I mean, they have their own singers, but uh, I mean that Garibaldi has their own singer. But when you're there leading it, it, it it's it's a different vibe. Uh, you kept mentioning the trumpet, so I want to go ahead. Everybody's making a big deal about the Mets and and Timmy Trumpet coming out there. First of all, Timmy Trumpet is from Holland, everybody, or with the <laughs> Netherlands or something like that, right? Right, Alonzo? Let me let me tell you what I didn't expect on today's bingo card. Juan to be pissed off about a trumpet player that's in New York. <laughs> well, no, look, whatever. Everybody's making a big deal about his interest, and his interest entrance is fun, right? So right. people are starting to give DJ Severe, you know, a hard time about, you know, hey, maybe you should play some trumpet over here. Fuck that. We got the mariachis. We got Julian. I mean, Julian, <laughs> you mentioned it before, right? Sí. What happens to that place when you sing, not just Volver, Volver, but when you sing anything from Chente? I mean, that place goes crazy, right? It goes nuts. Yes. So is that, I, I know they always ask you to play the favorites and then you sit there and you want, you actively choose to do something upbeat, but is there a, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. What is the most requested song you get? And then, what is your favorite song? The one that you're just like. I know you want me to sing this, but this one, this one is really good. Well, my favorite song is El Palenque. Oh, okay. Classic. El Palenque, and if, I don't know if you've noticed, but I do sing it a lot. And <laughs> just because this song would be sung by my father. Mm -hmm. Y es tan alegre, tan bravilla, and when I go to to any place, más cuando estamos en el estadio, I think of being at a palenque. And if, yeah. I don't know if you've seen Época de Oro songs, o cuando, sí, cuando salía este, Antonio Aguilar, cuando salía Lucha Villa, cuando van a pelear gallos, va a haber una pelea, yeah. que es lo yeah. que es que estamos allí. Well, especially on the bleachers where they put you guys to sing. That's <laughs> a little palenque. You it's know a little punchy you know? out there. Julian, I'm going to give you credit for that. I'm going to start calling it the uh, the bleachers, the pavilion, the palenque. Because I started, you know, you have the left field locos and then the all-you-can-eat gordos out in right field. <laughs> Screw that, man. That's the palenque out there. El palenque. <laughs> well, it's a little punchy out there to Juan's credit. So, yeah, it is. See, sí, so that that's one of my favorite songs just because it's punchy and, and I'm able to stretch out my voice and bring the the volume up with my voice. So I, I love that song. That's my that's my all time favorite being there is the, to sing. Right? Much, a lot of Chente requests, a yeah. lot of Chente requests. Uh, cuando falleció este maestro Federico Villa, el este uh, Caminos de Michoacán, yeah. pedían muchísimo, hermoso cariño, es a crowd favorite. Um, por tu maldito amor, por tu maldito amor, este acá entre nos. They're all crowd favorites, and you know, thankfully, when we're there, they give us a lot of liberty to sing what mostly whatever we want. Obviamente uh -huh. hay unas canciones que no vas a cantar ahí. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. ¿Verdad? Because they're, mm, si dice, they're not appropriate to sing there. Pero obviamente, you're going to be, you're going to bring um, the high intensity songs. I was going to say, mean, probably, I know it's not a mariachi song, but so you're never going to be singing Sacaremos ese güey de la barranca anytime soon. <laughs> Uh, yes, so it, Ramirez, it, it is the palenque, by the way, now from yeah. now on. Julian <laughs> lo bautizó el palenque. El hey, palenque. Tickets en el palenque, man. So. Y ese güey que están sacando se llama Juan Ramirez. I mean, yeah, it's just, right. just called Spade to Spade. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It's it's an amazing feeling being there. It's the, the crowd. I love Dodgers, man. I, I, love, I love the Dodger fan. I love 
And you know what? When they're there, I even get props from the other team. Like really? from, from the other team members, from the other team fans. They, they, como que les da miedo. Really? They walk by and, and then they're like, quietly. And I'm like, <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm entertainment. I don't. You know, so, like, some gambachos, they're afraid to put on the big sombrero, right? Because they think they're mocking us. Is that what it is, Julian? No, mainly like, um, what equipo estaba allí? I can't, can't remember the, the team, but the opposing team, mm -hmm. the fans, they're like, hey, hey, good job, good job. I'm like, oh, thank you. And they're scared. Can I take a picture with you? Vente, no, vente. No pasa nada. No, no pasa nada. Yo. Uh, I they mean, they must so be you... out of towners and they've never seen Mexicans before. See? Julian. They're just like, oh, can I take a picture with you? Look at the outfits. Yeah, yeah, llegan ahí, yeah, llegan ahí and, and I'm happy to receive, you know, que estar ahí con el público. Y más cuando me piden una foto, no, hombre, es, es, es un halago porque, well, we're there for, for you guys and, and I'm, I'm there for you. You know, whatever God gave me and whatever I have is para ustedes. Entonces, que ustedes lo estén disfrutando. I'm happy when that can me estén invitando. It's como el, el, el gladiator. Uh, okay. Win the crowd, nice. win the crowd, and con que ellos estén contentos y ellos me pidan y que les digan a Dodgers, ahí estamos. But that's ¿verdad? really true, right? How hard is it to perform when an audience isn't really giving you that energy? Like, have you ever played in places donde que están dormidos o qué? Sí, sí me ha like, tocado. How do you, like, how do you overcome that? La, you know what? The majority of the time, um, it's it's um, sort of tradition. I've, I've heard stories of going to um, Zacatecas and y los paisanos están sentados y están escuchando la música. You know, they're just listening and once everything, hey, bravo, yeah, bravo. And then calladitos. It's 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 and you know I'm I'm used to right away. Yeah, esa canción, yeah. lo que sea, es todo. You know, you're used to that. Gracias a Dios, I've had few moments when that has happened. Pero si me ha tocado cuando llegas a una fiesta con toda la actitud y con toda la energía, you're singing ah yeah, tan tan. Uh -huh. And then you turn around and you're like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like a comedian waiting for people to laugh at the punchline. What's going on? So now what I do, I have my own little phone and I have the, the clap sounds. <laughs> if, they <don't... laughs> if they don't clap, I just play it. And it's like, <sighs> oh, that's, that's, great. that's good. That's, that's good. Sweet. So hey, were, you, you were, were you, were you, I know you were as a kid, it, it was all about music, but were you a baseball fan? I mean, are you a legitimate, I mean, you're rocking your Dodger hat for those of you listening on the podcast. Watch it, watch But it. I mean, that's when, I mean, do you, were you really into sports or are you just one of those guys because wearing a Dodger hat is just being a, is a symbol of being an Angelino? Oh, <laughs> claro. Bueno. Uh, I was uh, growing up, my mom, como, como decían mis tías, hijo, es que no, er, no, er, no fuiste mal niño, es que eras inquieto. Okay. Eras un niño inquieto. <laughs> and I think, God bless my mom, soul. I think my mom really saw that and tried to put me in every sport available and in every activity available to burn out all that energy. <laughs> I think I, I think that that's what happened. So I did baseball, I did basketball, I did swimming, I did. I know yo sé que todo este, you know, this beautiful <laughs> statuesque person that's here, you know, este. But I did a lot of sports. Um, baseball. I even went to All Star League in baseball. Catcher. Um, he, when I was in that all-star league for the uh, Mustang um, division, we even went to Cal State uh, Dominguez Hills to train with all the kids y todo eso. A friend of mine was a third baseman, and we were doing a drill, and the coach hit the ball. It bounced the wrong way and broke his nose. And that day I was like, nope, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hombre, ¿cómo voy a estar cantando con una nariz chueca? Ahí, no, 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 estoy bien. I'm good. From that, and I remember that day, I'm like, no, I don't, I don't think I want to pursue this. Pero muchos de, de los um, coaches wanted me to keep on going. They saw something in me as a baseball player. So I, I am a fan of the sport. I love watching the game, but I am very passionate in music, in mariachi. I think that overcame todo because I could, I don't know, it's, it's, it's in me, it's part of me. It's, you know, I grew up with it. So, I, pero yo creo que si no tuviera música, maybe that sport, I love baseball. Basketball, I, I don't know, I wasn't that good. <laughs> Basketball. Baseball, sí, as a catcher, and a veces me ponían de, de, de pitcher. Uh -huh. No, hombre, era, los muchachos corrían de, de miedo, pero porque les iba a pegar. <laughs> oh, this guy's wild. I don't yeah, know how you were pitching. efficiently wild. You were efficiently yes. wild. Yeah. Pero yeah, I, I am a fan. I, I, um, I do follow the Dodgers, um, and más que estoy allí, no, hombre, pues, Poderles cantarle a ellos and, and show them my love with, with song, pues es, es lo mejor. El, uh, uh, el padrino del palenque, uh, <laughs> Julián Torres, joining us here for a few moments. Uh, te quería preguntar, because every, every, every guy that, that play or does whatever in music, whether it's you work in it as crew now or, you know, whatever, they all started in a band, right? So I was curious, mm -hmm. was the first band that you were ever in, was it only mariachi or did you ever venture out to any other genres? First band I was in was officially, yes, was mariachi, was in the mariachi. And I was put into the spotlight and the big stage of mariachi by luck. Uh, one of my mentors, Laura Sobrino in Paz Descanse, um, there was a situation where at the school and the music and art uh, school, they weren't letting kids uh, practice in the hallways or sing because there was other classes in session. Y pues ahí va Julián, inquieto, cantando y cantando, y, y sale la maestra Laura con uh, Heriberto Molina, one of the greatest voices in the mariachi world. Um, and he was giving vocal lessons. So they walk out from the second story And la maestra was like, who was the one singing? ¿Quién no les dije que no estuvieran cantando? ¿Quién estu estaba cantando? And I'm walking, and I turn, and all the kids are pointing at me. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, okay. Y el maestro, a ver, canta otra vez. ¿Qué estabas cantando? Oh, ya ni me acuerdo que está cantando. Pero le canté otra vez. ¿Tocas algún instrumento? Estoy aprendiendo trompeta. Vente. Y la maestra me metió. They were, they were building a uh, juvenil mariachi group to be performing on stage with Mariachi Sol de Mexico, with Mariachi Reinas de Los Angeles. With, so it, I was catapulted in that world. I wasn't, I, I can't say, oh, I was advanced in trumpet and I was, no, I was very strong in my vocal abilities because I'm, I'm a singer. Pero estaba aprendiendo la trompeta. But that whole experience of being in a show group of juvenil mariachis, first of all, made me realize that I'm not alone in the music world. There were other kids at a, a certain level. Second, I was like, wow, this is what I want to do. I want to be on these big stages. Because I, I was already singing as a kid como solista. But now in the mariachi world, I was kind of pulled into that. I was able to see Mariachi Vargas, Mariachi Los Camperos, Mariachi Sol de Mexico, Mariachi Cobre. I was able to learn from the best in Mariachi. No, pues más me enamoré, imagínate. Ver Mariachi music at the highest level, is, it's, it's an amazing, it, it, it has been a, an amazing journey for me. No me puedo quejar, gracias a Dios, me ha dado muchísimas oportunidades. He, he corrido con mucha suerte y con un angelote, <laughs> con un angelote que me, que me sigue protegiendo. Entonces, I'm, I'm, I'm very blessed, I'm, I'm very fortunate to be able to meet such great professionals like yourself, great people that are helping me along the way 
in some form or another, they've, they've helped me reach certain goals in my life that I've said as a kid, como lo de, de cantar el himno nacional at Dodger Stadium. As a kid, I was given la suerte to throw the first pitch at Dodger Stadium. As a kid, we were part of the WIC program, you know, low income family. And they put me in a raffle and I won to the throw. So I get there at Dodger Stadium with my little league Seattle hat. <laughs> and I was I was ready. I was because my my mi equipo allí in Carson was Seattle. Y alguien que estaba allí was like, um, let me give you a better hat. <laughs> and they gave me a LA hat. It's like, here, this one fits you better. I'm like, wait, but I like this hat. <laughs> because I was in that team, right? So I go mm -hmm. in, I throw the first pitch. Y volteo, you know, people clapping. Y volteo con mi mamá. I'm like, ma, algún día voy a cantar aquí. Algún día yo voy a cantar aquí. Voy a cantar you manifested it. You manifested you, you, you it. You spoke it into existence. As a kid, I was six years old, seven years old. Well, if it makes mi you mama, feel better, Juan. Mi mama como, como una mamá? Sí, mijo, tú lo vas a hacer. Lo vas a hacer. But, and uh, gracias a Dios, salió la oportunidad de cantar no solamente el himno nacional mexicano, pero el, más bien el americano, pero el mexicano también. Y los pude invitar. And they were oh. sitting there, and they didn't know that I was going to sing the national anthem. That's cool. That's they awesome. did not know. That's why I was like, okay. No les voy a decir, ya que ya. Okay. But I got scared along the when that day. That day I got scared. Oh, yeah. Si me ven ahí, no se vayan a enfermar mis papás. Mejor les dije, on the way, I'm like, hey, man, just so you know, you're invited. Voy a cantar. Este, because they, they wanted me, they wanted to see me perform there, but they didn't know I was going to sing the national anthem. Entonces, ya llego allí y sabes qué llama es que voy a cantar el himno nacional what <laughs> cómo amigo dije sí voy a cantar el himno nacional americano y el mexicano no hombre dice mi hermana que estaban llorando driving entonces ya llegando ahí pues I don't know if you've ever seen the footage that I posted of them I'm singing and and it it, it got me choked up because my father, I've only seen him cry maybe three times in my lifetime. And one of them was that day. To see him proud and to see them um, there apoyándome a mi mamá. And, and, I, and to be able to give them that, de que mira, it's, it, it was, it's all the struggle. Yeah. Aquí está. And you're able to see it in, in vida. You know, you know uh, so, something I think about culturally that's different with Latinos than it is, I feel like, with other cultures. It, I mean, obviously, I didn't have the struggle of growing up in a gated community where you keep the bad people <laughs> in, right? But, uh, but, uh, but you know, your parents, you know, obviously, you're generationally, mis papás también son, son de México, somos de Durango. Todo, todo el sacrificio que hicieron para que uno pues, lo pueda levantar, ¿verdad? Pero at the same time, you know, they they don't really get to experience some of those bucket list things that you and I did. Right. You know, like I, I had, you know, aspirations to, to play in baseball, didn't pan out, worked, ba worked in baseball, got to bring my dad along the way for some cool stuff. I still work in sports, got to bring, you know, get to bring him along the way. And I, same with me, I, I've only seen my dad cry a couple of times and, but he gets kind of choked up when he hears, you know, about, about the stuff I'm doing, you know, he gets to experience some of that. And it, it for me, it's fulfilling just like I know it is for you for, for all that cool stuff, because it, 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 it kind of shows them, you know, the, the, this is what we worked for, you know, para darle, porque como dijiste tú, ya estaría bien que lo creamos en México, en Zacatecas, donde sea, pero, <laughs> pero esa vida es totalmente diferente a la vida de acá, verdad? You know, the sí, struggle no. here to the struggle there, it's nine day. And, and, uh, and as things come full circle, Juan is a grown ass man and he still wears Chicago white hats, uh, white Sox hats to Dodger stadium. So, I mean, so you don't need to worry about that, but, uh, but I wanted to ask you actually about the Mexican national anthem. Um, the, 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 I feel like there's, there's very few national anthems that, that get you right in the fields. Right. And, may, and maybe I'm biased cause I'm a Mexican passport holder, but mm -hmm. I feel like when, when un mariachi canta a, a classically trained singer, not just, you know, a singer, no disrespect to people, cause there is a difference, 
uh, uh, sings that national anthem. Uh, I feel like it, it, it tiene más poder. Am I wrong in assuming and looking at it that way? No, it, it's such a powerful song. And, and if you really look at the original, it has so many verses. Yeah, it's a really long song. <laughs> it's yeah. a really long song. So we just sing, we just sing one of the verses. Pero es, es, es una canción muy bonita, thinking melody-wise, looking at it as a musician. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful song with my musician uh, hat on. Now, as a singer, it's, um, it's such a challenge because two things. The melody to sing, it's, you have to keep it in tune. If you're singing it a cappella, it's otra cosa. Sí. Segundo, you cannot mess up the lyric. No. At all. No. <laughs> like there isn't. You, even the melody, um, I was, when I went to Mexico um, past, past months, Um, my uncle was talking to me about it. And um, if you are performing, if you are a Mexican and you're performing the national anthem and you mess it up, there are fees. If you sing it differently, they dock you. They won't ask you to sing it again. Like, it, it's very straight. Yeah. Entonces, uno que está acá, o sea, lleva ese peso encima to not mess it up, to sing it well, and to not play around with the melody that much because it's very like <laughs> yeah like it, it's 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 um the mona lisa de mexico you why are you gonna put this on there it's it's the mona lisa like you why are you gonna change it it's the mona lisa like it is what it is and it's loved by so many even other countries love the, the mexican national anthem. Um, el, the national anthem, también americano, is is algo muy muy importante. It's it's such a symbol, and we give both of them the same respect because it is a national anthem. O sea, you have to sing it well. The national anthem americano también. Oh, the land of the free. If you, you know, if you crack there. <laughs> Then you'll be all over and now everyone will know so you have to work at it you have to sing at it tiene mucho poder los dos tienen tienen there's so much weight on on that on those songs you know and so so, so we have to be respectful for any national anthem i think but i mean siendo mexicano como dicen siendo paisano no pues tienes que verdad tienes que ser lo That's mejor cool. posible también being a mexican-american singing it well it's it's you know it's very important pues como dicen los papás de uno se tiene que poner las pilas uno verdad otherwise you know it's, it. it's 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 disrespectful before i send it over to juan to end how yes. we always end these te quería preguntar i feel like one of the i don't want to say forgotten but i just want to feel like i feel like it's almost dismissed how important los paisanos están siendo fanáticos de los Dodgers, right? Because when you go to Dodger Stadium, it, it's easy, easily, so a lot of people say it's a 50-50 split. I, I would be, as a betting man, willing to say 80-20, 70-30. As far mm -hmm. as Latinos, and, and, and the majority of those Latinos are probably, you know, grasa. Yeah. Uh, as far as the cultural impact of, of that sort of stuff, do you think the Dodgers are doing enough to recognize the importance of that base Or do you think there's more that could be done? Ooh, that's a very important. I know that's loaded too. Yeah, that, that's very important though. It's very important porque um, como los Estados Unidos somos la mayoría. And it's in, important for them. I, I know there's a lot of comments that I receive on my posts about a lot of <laughs> political stuff. And I'm not a polit politician, ni nada. I don't, I just, I see. That's my thing. I don't get into politics. Um, I, I think we should all love each other and try to understand, not try, and understand each other and understand why people have different points of views. I think that's very important because, and be able to have an open mind as to, oh, you feel this way because of this, oh, okay. Recognition. De muchas cosas. Um, que somos la mayoría. Sí. 
que somos importantes, sí. En Los Ángeles, en todo el mundo, sí. Um, I think it is, um, I think it's a good step in bringing a lot of our culture, not only, no es como decir, oh, uh, Latinos o Hispanos son solamente mariachi. No, and I understand that. Tenemos diferentes, uh, diferentes tradiciones, diferentes, diferente música, diferentes sabores. Es lo, lo hermoso de nuestro México. And I think they are, I, I, I see it as a, as a spectator. I see them trying to touch on different uh, cultures, different uh, genres. On, they're trying to, uh, um, they are, como se dice, welcoming todo. Porque es, es lo que es Los Ángeles. Entonces, es, es muy importante de lo que ellos están trayendo como en nuestra música, en nuestra cultura. Um, showing the recognition is very important. And I think they are, they are um, on the right step, como se dice, on the right path of doing Because they do more, everyone can do more. You know what I mean? Ellos pueden hacer más, claro. Siempre, we can all, always give, give more, you know? Um, pero ahí, ahí va el camino, poco a poco, poco a poco. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be uh, part of that journey, and I'm happy to, um, uh, to have a positive feedback from everyone that's there saying that I'm there. Entonces, it's, it's um, can, can, they, can they give more? Claro, like anything. It's just, you know, poco a poco, vamos para arriba, vamos para arriba. Um, I don't know. I, 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 I think that, uh, I think that we, we are all being appreciated. And it's not going to be like, Oh, like, can it be? I don't know. Like, it'd be like, right. así para arriba. It's, you know, like anything. Okay, para abajo. Okay, para arriba. Ahí vamos. Okay, para acá. I mean, you never know with those no. things. It, no, 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 it's true. And, I, and and again, I know that's a loaded question, but I appreciate your candor too, because, I've, you know, you're you're one of the ones that's kind of, I don't even want to say stepping stone, because I feel like that's disrespecting it, but it's, you know, it, it's bringing awareness, you know, to, to what is toda la cultura de Los Angeles, right? Because this podcast, not only are we about the Dodgers, but all things Los Angeles, cultura, tacos, comida, claro. uh, wearing, wearing, wearing other teams' hats at the Dodger Stadium, apparently, Juan. Uh, so go ahead. Uh, Julian, we're going to end the show the way we always end the shows here on the Bleed Lows podcast. We are not only about the Dodgers on this podcast, we're about Los Angeles, but we're also about taco culture. So... We need to know what is your favorite taco and where do you go in the city to get that taco? <laughs> oh, my God. I love so, it. <laughs> somos taqueros. Somos taqueros, Julian. Somos and taqueros. Is... Luego te mando el número de, de, de mi taquero <laughs> preferido. <laughs> there, there, there is no wrong answer. There is no, no there, wrong answer. And, um, it, it all depends on the mood. That's not true. That's a trick question, but I will get into that here in a second. <laughs> Mira, um, oh man, I, I buenos taqueros, man. I buenos taqueros. The recently we found a place, uh, strictly tacos, huh? Strictly yeah, tacos. yeah, yeah. We found a place off of Olympic and Soto. Uh huh. I guess you get off on, uh, if you're taking the five, you get off on Soto and you go up to Olympic and you make a left. And I think they're there in the evenings. No sé el nombre. De los taqueros. Ah, pues no le vamos a hacer negocio al pobre. No, claro que no. Pero el primer, el primer taquero no es. Nunca he ido ahí. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's better than the one I've gone to. Pero el segundo, it's amazing. They have, tienen tacos um, de asada al carbón. Uh -huh. Y a mí me gusta que la carne esté un poquito este, doradita. Ok. Entonces, poner el taco es hecha a mano. Y está delgadito, echa mano delgadito, le ponen la, el, el taco de asada, le ponen 
su cebolla, su jitomate y el, el aguacate. That one's delicious. Pero también hay de pollo y hay de adobada. My, my all time favorite, I mean, we're going to go old school, right? El de asada. Uh -huh. El de asada, when it's cooked right, when the meat is tender, and but it's also crispy, perfect. Pero hay unos tacos de adobada que de la bola, que nomás ahí, <laughs> está, it's, it's, it's like sizzling and they cut that. De adobada, man. Ahora, you're talking to the wrong person about food. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> porque como ven a mí me encanta de cualquier le, le busco el sabor a todo Los, una, unos tacos de cabeza con una salsa verde nombre mira Beautiful. Uh, Alicia no está aquí la reina de Picolandia no la princesa <laughs> la princesa de sí, la Picolandia princesa. perdón ah pero me está chingui 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 que vaya a Sonora Town and I finally went to Sonora Town this past weekend uh -huh. And I have to say, my, my, no, my, it's really good. It's really good. My favorite taco there was el de asada. Mm -hmm. uh, but tenían tortillas de harina. Sí. Uh -huh. So I need to ask you, Julian, this is the other thing that we ask. ¿Te gustan las tortillas de maíz o de harina? En el this taco? Is the, this y, is, this y, is, this y is the trick question. Cómo me contestes, yeah, Julián. Nice. Cuidado como me contestes. You know how Porque no más hay saying... una respuesta, no más hay una respuesta correcta. Sí. ¿Te recuerdas, uh, ¿te recuerdas Julián, how you were talking about you don't get into politicizing things? This is a, a, the only topic that Juan will politicize. <laughs> <laughs> Pero es que esta también es otra. You're talking to the wrong person about this. Porque a mí me gusta una, mira, ahí te va. Uh -huh. Cuando vamos a México, uh -huh. ¿verdad? La tortilla, hay, hay, hay un taquero que se llama Taco Los Cuñados. Ajá. Y hay, es una tortillita así, y la meten en la grasa, y la, está grasosa la tortilla y le echan la carne. No, hombre, está deliciosa. Pero sí. I have gone to Sonora Town, shout out to them. And con la tortilla de harina está riquísimo también. Ahora, la tortilla hecha a mano, delgadita, tiene que ser delgadita, Ajá. ¿verdad? A mí también me encanta. Entonces, es por ahí que te digo, no, you're, you're talking about Maíz o harina. Person. Maíz o harina. Te digo, this is the no only puedo. thing that he politicizes. No puedo. No, oh, Julián. No, y me haces pasar vergüenza en mi propio programa. <laughs> And, no and, what's, and then the messed up part here, Juan, is he just called you a professional a couple minutes ago. And now oh, he's going to ruin it like that. Profesional y todo. Profesional means no. Mira, para los tacos, para los tacos, para mí, Cuenta. tienen que ser tortillas de maíz. Pero mira, ah. sí, te, en Sonora Town, de harina, sí, tu, tan buenos. También el ruso usa sí. una, tarti, una tortilla de harina. Claro. Pero para un taco, un taco en la calle, para mí... Tiene que ser una tortilla de maíz. Pero tiene que estar rica, ¿sí o no? A sí, veces eso la, la sí. han cocinado eso mal sí. y dices, what? What's going on here? I'm toda quemada o toda, o toda tiene, dura. Tiene like que por... ser de, de, de tortilla, de maíz, depende sí. de cuál. También no. igual de harina, ¿sí o no? Eh, no and I will no. say, Alicia took uh, Babyface and I to Sonora Town uh, when I was in town for the All-Star Game. Right. She pointed out that I got that I got the tortillas in there, as Juan would say, appropriate usage. Uh, los tacos de maíz. Y agarré una quesadilla con, con pollo, I think it was, uh, con harina. She even pointed that out. But if Juan was there, he would have flipped my table, would have flipped my plate, and would have been no, like this. Las, las quesadillas, sí, pues, también las quesadillas se pueden hacer con maíz o con sí, de, claro. de harina. Pero claro. si, ve, si te veo comiendo una, una quesadilla con una tortilla de harina, está bien. Me no, me a, no me mano. vas a ofender. Pero yo nomás estoy diciendo porque es que, te digo, las tortillas de maíz son más fuertes. Y si a mí me gusta un chingo de carne. Sí. Y, por ejemplo, comer un taco de birria con una tortilla de harina. No, no, ahí no se puede. Toda no la... se puede. Exactamente, no se puede. Sí. Y por eso, para mí, las tortillas de maíz son mejor porque van con todo. No claro. te tienes que preocupar. Una tortilla de harina, vas a tener toda la birria en la mano. Y se va sí, a pero tienes a que entender también, como yo soy de Durango, ¿verdad? Allá, allá comemos de las dos, pero también hacemos gorditas. Pero a mí ah, eso es la eso diferencia. Es diferente. Porque... Una pues, gordita digo, no es... es un taco. 
No, pero esa es, esa es la diferencia de, como dice Julián, de, de donde seas, porque también los tamales, como los tamales ahí en Durango, los hacen en, en hojas de maíz, ¿verdad? Si vas a, a otras partes del país, las hacen en hojas de, de plátano. O sea, a mí, yeah, eh, yeah. Eh, eh, todo, todo cambia, ¿verdad? Pero, sí. Juan, si sí es racista contra las, las tortillas de harina. A mí esa es la, esa es la, pura, ah, neta, ah, es la pura neta. Mira, te, te vamos a dejar, Julián, pero cuando te vean el palenque, así sí te voy a decir en frente de todos, me tienes que dejar saber cuáles las tortillas que prefieres. ¿Le vas a reclamar <risa> en persona? <risa> en, en persona en el palenque, porque Uf. ya sabes cómo se ponen las cosas en el palenque. Sí, claro, claro. Sí, hay Ahí pelea, van a hay salir pelea. los cholos y van a decir, ¿qué dijo? ¿Qué dijo ese? <risa> No, it's, 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 gracias, gracias por la invitación. I had such a fun time. Thank you for, for this invitation. I mean, it was super fun. And thank you for touching upon a lot of things that made me go back in time. Y también lo de los tacos, ¿no? Pues vamos a tener que ir a probar los tacos. ¿Cuándo? Que los... ya, ya hizo hambre. Yeah. No, no, vamos a... No, but in all seriousness, Julian, you need to know... Uh, I, I don't think we go out of our way enough to tell people when they are doing a good job. I think yeah. we're really quick to point out when people fuck up or, you know, yes. I don't like you. But I'm telling you, we, we are not lying. Every player that we've interviewed on the show that comes on have all said they like the mariachi. As I said, who, they, they, it energizes them to see you come out. And I said, it, there's a difference when you're not there when it's just the mariachi, uh, you have a gift and you have shared it with the rest of us. And I, and I wanted to say this, I, I forgot to say it when you brought it up, but thank your parents. And, and this goes out to all the parents who support their children in a dream, whether they realize it or not. Now, I know your father had, you know, a love for music, but for those parents who don't understand children and their desire to do something, it doesn't make sense to them. They can't relate to it. God bless them for, for allowing their child to pursue that because it's like you said, you manifested this. You never, you never thought you'd be singing in El Palenque at Dodger Stadium. And now thank you to you. <laughs> That will never, babyface. We got to make a shirt of it, Palenque for Julian. Por favor. And, sure. and 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 that'll be a, a nice uh, selling shirt. You know what? Uh, yeah, it's it's. It, I've I've been working with a, a district, Los Angeles School District, as a special ed assistant, and it is very true. I've been working around 13, 14 years. No importa de lo que tus hijos o hija, sus hijos quieran hacer. Pero el apoyo es tan importante, es tan sí. importante y, es... y apoyarnos con amor. You know, yes, you're doing it well, okay. That... Y no sabe lo importante and how, how much that really affects children. Entonces, you're, no, you're no. spot on that. And another thing about having me there, I've had so many people request me. Y cuando no estoy allí, hey, ¿dónde andas? Hey. Te, quiero ir, que, hey, ¿por qué no estás aquí? ¿Por qué están ahí? Hey, ¿qué, ¿qué está pasando? Hey, and I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, what? I'm, I'm a special guest. I have guest. a life, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm a special guest. Yo encantado de estar ahí cuantas veces que ustedes quieran. But you guys request me. I, you know, yo no puedo hacer nada. Tag them, díganle a ellos. De, de, a ver, me llegó una abuelita después que hice el Spectrum este, interview. Me dice, who do I have to talk to to get you to sing the national anthem? And I'm like, lady, if I knew, <laughs> if I knew, she's like, mm, we're going to work on that. And I think it was that lady que tenía como unos 80 años, que habló con su hijo, que habló con su grandson, que habló con alguien, y dijo, no, él es el que tiene que ser. I'm a firm believer as it is who you know. Y la gente sure. de arriba te apoya, si te ¿sabes qué? Él, 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 él tiene que estar ahí, ¿por qué no está ahí? Él, él es, ¿por qué? ¿Qué está pasando? Solamente, if you win, y, el público, es lo que, es, that's it. It's true, y deja de eso también, it isn't just who you know, it's how you treat people. I'm a firm believer that if you treat people decently, regardless of who you know, it all comes back full circle, and you're proof of that. So, so and, and we're also, you know, and we're also a huge proponent too here of giving people their flowers. So that's that's another thing too is is you know while they're around, right? Because because you never know what tomorrow brings, right? So 
So we got to give people their flowers. And uh, and that's why El Padrino del Palenque, Julian Torres, will <laughs> no, apparently have a fight out. <laughs> no, yo los, apl apl Juan, yo los aplaco con Juan, música. Juan's pues, pues Juan le, le va a reclamar como si es una pele una película de, de Mario Almada o algo de Terry. Claro que sí, vamos a hacer los hermanos Almada. Está bien, hacemos un video ahí. Yeah. No, gracias Pero, de, de veras por esta plataforma. Thank you so much. No, no, de hecho, gracias a ti, porque como te dijimos, a mí, aquí es, es pura cultura, de, si no es de los Dodgers, es Los Ángeles, y pues obviamente la cultura, pues, pues somos nosotros, ¿verdad? So, sí. so we gotta thank you for joining, joining us. For reset you lose though, this episode of the podcast was presented by our partners at BetOnline. If you head on over to their website, betonline.ag, and use our promo code, which is Believe50, B-L-E-A-V-5-0, you will receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. BetOnline, where the game starts. Huge thanks to them for presenting this episode. From your boys, Alonso y Juan, and the babyface gimmick in the sky. The guy, Someone actually called us a professional today, Juan, and that was the guy that was on the episode today, Julian Torres. <laughs> Uh, a, a first sí. and a last, I, I suspect, too. No, no, But, uh, no. Sigan adelante. Están haciendo buen trabajo. No, pues gracias. Gra muchísimas gracias. Julián Torres, go follow him on the socials. If, you, if you're not following him already, he's a great follow. His, uh, con permiso, his uh, social media, I'm sorry, his Instagram is Julián underscore, I'm sorry, Julián Torres underscore official. Go follow him. Official. He has all of his stuff up there. <laughs> Yes, uh, Julian Torres underscore official, all all yeah, like that. With one F. Uh, <laughs> with, with, oh, yeah, with, with one F. I'm sorry. That's right. I ran out of characters like my last name. But uh, but on that note, go check it out. And uh, thank you again, Julian, for, for coming through. We appreciate it, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Un fuerte abrazo a todos. And I'm waiting. I'll be there in El Palenque waiting for you guys. Orale, <laughs> bro. Listos. Orale. <laughs> did, did you hear that, Juan? Did you hear Absolutely. that? Absolutely. You know what I heard? Que quiere putazos, Julián. And no. you know what? I'm here for. I'm here Pero for. Pero con tacos. <laughs> con tacos de harina. Vamos a con los tacos, tacos Julián. Vamos a los tacos. Taquitos. Sí, peleame con tacos ahí. Gracias, Julián. Muchísimas vale, pues, gracias. Estás bien. Saludos.